But what I never supposed was that the truth in the Bible offers so much more than what Joseph Smith taught. You know, yeah, you know, you can ha be sealed to your tiny little family here, you know, and this little group of people and your ancestors and those who are descended from you. Or, as the Bible says, you can be with all followers of Christ in heaven for eternity with everyone. And, and even then, you know, I, I kind of joke with my wife because I, I like the saying that if all you want is Jesus, you can have everything you want because ultimately Jesus is all that matters. You know, he comes before everything. And, and even my wife, you know, I, I joke with her that, you know, Jesus is all I want. You know, you're an added bonus and I'm very grateful to have you, but, but Jesus is everything, you know, and uh, it's just such a totally different perspective because when, when Jesus is all you want in your heart, nothing else in this world matters. And that's exactly what he was talking about when he went to the young ruler and said, sell all that you have and come and follow me. And that is the hardest thing for people to do is to let go of everything that is dear to them, their family, their money, their job, anything else, and just go and follow Christ and sacrifice all for him. It is the hardest thing. And that's what Jesus said, you know, when he said it is impossible for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And I don't think that just applies to money. That implies to people who have lots of good things in this world, whether it's family, people who love them, etc., etc., etc. You have to be willing to give it all for Jesus or you're not worthy of him. But when you give it all to Jesus, you know, he gives you everything and more so. And what Jesus has to offer trumps what Joseph Smith has to offer by by a million fold. You know, it's it's just so much more that freedom, that grace and that gift of mercy. It just has completely changed my life. So